Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, doing a quick review of the Duo Gamer controller for the iPad. Uh, it also works with the uh, iPhone and iPod, if you have those as well. It is Bluetooth. I uh, picked this up for $5 at a flea market while my wife was uh, in a doctor's appointment. Uh, she's fine, by the way, but uh, the outside of the box contains a bunch of different information, mostly regulated stuff. This is uh, compliant for FCC, blah, 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 blah. But the important thing is that it shows you the five games that this worked with when it was manufactured. More on that later. Inside the box is the controller and it comes in this nice, uh, almost velvety bag. Not really, but uh, feels like a third party controller would for most consoles. Uh, it's powered by two AA batteries, which did come in the box, which is always nice. Uh, also comes with a stand for the iPad as well as uh, the normal instruction booklet, as you would expect. Now, to put the batteries in, you just turn the controller over, pop off the back, just like that, and then the batteries pop in just like they would any normal piece of electronics that you're used to in the past, oh, I don't know, 30 years? The controller has a D-pad on the front, it's a circle kind. It also has two analog sticks, which also click in, four face buttons, a pause and power button, and two shoulder buttons. Now, all of these buttons feel pretty good. Like I said before, they feel a lot like a third-party controller. Not to knock that, but they just don't have the, the right feel. The stand seems to have a great idea for setting there. It's even got a hole where you can put through to charge it. The problem I found with it is the base is kind of narrow, so if you do get excited while playing, you run the risk of bumping the table and knocking your iPad over. The other thing is that if you have a case on it of any kind, you're going to find that it won't fit inside of this stand, just like that. It won't fit. And now, my son and I both tried our iPads in our different cases. Neither of them would work. We had to take them outside in order to get this to actually work. What I originally thought was a thick instruction manual is simply the same instructions printed in multiple languages, but really you turn it on and then sync it, it's not that hard. The instruction manual shows these five games as the one that it works with. Now, Brothers in Arms 2, I could not find on the App Store anymore. Uh, two of these cost money and two of them were free. Setting it up with your iPad is fairly simple, just as you would expect almost any other Bluetooth setup to go. You simply go into the settings menu, Bluetooth, ensure that your Bluetooth is on, and then wait for it to populate there. The only thing I did find odd is that the Duo Gamer shows up on any computer as headphones, which that struck me as odd, but it worked just fine on the iPad. The first of the five games listed that I tried was Nova 3, uh, Near Orbit Vanguard Alliance. And it's a first person shooter, and I looked at the settings before I started getting in there, and it did actually have different options for the controller, which I thought was really nice. That way you could play it, depending on how what you were accustomed to, especially what game you were used to playing on a bigger console. While playing the game, the everything handled remarkably well. The lag was next to nothing, and even at once I played it, I'm not very good at first-person shooters, but I had a lot of fun playing this and kept going for a little while. Now you'll notice that this game is not that hard, but I'm not reviewing the game, I'm reviewing the controller, and the controller handled beautifully. Uh, my son has also played this and continues to play this, using the controller, which he finds absolutely perfect for when he is on the go or at lunch and wants to play a quick game and has nothing else to do. Order in Chaos was the second game that I tried. It's the other free one that I was able to download, and I actually went through the process of creating an account, creating a character, and getting logged in. Uh, only to find out that the controller did not work in this game anymore. I tried multiple times because the game itself looked actually fun, 
but without a controller, I'm not looking forward to swiping on the screen for the length of an MMO. I did also try it with a few other Gameloft games, Gamester Vegas you saw there briefly, but in the end, Nova 3 was the only game that I got to work, and it is amazingly fun. So I found this for $5 uh, on Amazon, I believe it's 7 or 8 and you can find it there. I would recommend if you want to play a first person shooter specifically like the one that you're seeing, which is very Halo-like, then you may want to pick it up. But otherwise, it doesn't sync to a, uh, a Mac as far as I know. I tried that a few times, could not find a driver for it. If you have a jailbroken iPad or iPhone, then there seems to be a way that you can make this controller work with other games that it wasn't supposed to. However, my firmware was upgraded too far for me to actually test this, so buyer beware on that. So to wrap it all up, I paid $5 for it and had a blast with it for about a day. My son continues to use it whenever he is somewhere where he can't play a full game but wants to be able to play something a little bit more console heavy than what he can get with his handheld. But thank you very much for watching and as always, play on!